compassion is not a luxury but a necessity <laughs> and then perhaps another thing is that compassion is not like a fleeting weak sentimental feeling but that this is really a motivation and rather than a feeling it is an attitude in life it is an attitude towards life which really has in the focus uh, to ben to want to benefit a lot of people right to want to benefit the common good and not only yourself yeah so uh, obviously compassion has impacted a lot my work in the sense that it became the focus of my research of the last almost 20 years by now uh, given that i'm a neuroscientist working on empathy and compassion and so I think throughout um, the studies I did to find ways how to cultivate compassion in you in a secular way, you know, based on perhaps contemplative traditions, psychological, clinical tradition, I have learned to really, uh, you know, estimate compassion more and more and to be really in, in awe of, of how powerful compassion is, because I have seen the data, um, you know, and that cultivating compassion in comparison to other skills or uh, mindfulness perhaps or just attention or you know some more perspective taking you know cultivating this quality of the heart is very powerful i think i i want to rather mention all the people without these big names uh, you know like nurses who every day you know, undercover without being paid really a lot are actually helping other people. And there are so many. And in that sense, there are millions of compassion heroes around the world, which should be acknowledged more. So first, I think this world would have compassion, cultivation and education already in kindergarten, in school and then university, right? It would really be a fundamental part of our education, early life education. Um, and then it would enter also the institutional design of our big systems, right? So uh, not only, you know, the rules, the legal laws, but also the, the institutional design, the incentive, the, the way community are created in finance system, healthcare system, you know, educational system. And that obviously would change the world a lot it would reduce negative externality, it would change our finance system. So it would probably be uh, nothing else than a little revolution. <laughs> that we really have to put all the efforts together to, to create this revolution we need, uh, you know, to move towards care instead of competition and destroying our planet. Uh, and so I guess the the idea is that we are really all coming together so that we can join forces in achieving this huge task. And so I think that is the, because it's not about having yet another institution which works on compassion. There are already many, but it is to try to bring all these institutions globally throughout the globe, not just in America or just in Europe, together uh, to really try to, to put the efforts together right. Like.